Hi, this is Chris Terrell. Uh, today we're going to actually be recording, uh, we're going to be doing a VBA function. What I thought it would be good to do is to do some functions based on functions that we use all the time. So what I want to do is create a function similar to, it's actually identical to sum, to basically show you what Excel does on the back end to calculate that area. So what we're doing here is I basically just put in a sum function, uh, selected the range, which is A3 to C11. Um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Excel. You can do Alt F11. I actually already have this open. Uh, what you want to do is find what find the, the workbook that you're working on. You need to insert a module. Uh, anytime you use a or making a function, it is called a function. Uh, and we're going to call this a sum code because we're writing the code. Anytime you do a function, you're going to be passing variables back and forth. This time we're going to be passing a range. We're going to name that range RNG. We're going to de declare it as a range. And there's there's your function. Now all we have to do is take that range. We need to sum it all up. So the way that you do that is you're going to go for each cell in RNG. Basically what this code does is it's going to basically go through each cell within that range. We're going to add those up. So now we need to create a variable. We're going to call that variable sum x, which is basically the variable that we're going to be adding everything up. We're going to go sum x equals sum x plus whatever that cell is dot value. What that does is basically every time it stops in a cell, Returns that value, it adds that cell to sum x, and then it equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stop in here. So when we go and put this function in, you'll be able to see exactly what this does in the code. So we're going to come right here. We're going to go equals sum code. You'll notice that it automatically knows that it's there. We're going to select the range. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. When I hit enter, it's going to go over to the VBA code right where we stopped it. I'm going to go ahead and hit F8. F8 is going to walk us through each line. It's going to take us through. Now, sum x is equal to 0. We know that sum, it's going to add the first cell in that range, which happens to be 14. And I'm going to go ahead and do something just to illustrate here. We're going to go put in a test variable equals, equals cell dot value. That way we can kind of see what that is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit F8. We're going to notice that that is now 8. If we go and look at our look at our range, uh, you'll notice that it goes from 14 to 8 to 44, then down to 81. So let's go ahead and walk through that really quick. So we, remember it was 8. Now it's 44. Now it's going to go to 81 and it's going to go all the way through this code. The only thing that we don't have is we're not passing the variable back. We just need to put that in. All you have to do is whatever your function name, which in this case is sum code, is going to equal to the variable which we're going to make it sum x. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to hit F5. It's going to go through the whole thing. It's going to, it's, we're going to now all we need to do is just check to make sure that it's calculating correctly. It is. Let's go ahead and test it real quick. We're going to we're just going to do it on that range. That's all. I just did Alt F11, Alt, um, Alt equals. That pulls in the sum function. We're going to go ahead and put in our sum code. And we're going to select that range as well. That's correct. Copy them over. And there you have it. You've got a. You went in, created a function called sum code. That basically, does the I exact thing that Excel does when you do the sum function. You can visit me at chrisjterrell.com uh, or visit me on my YouTube site. Thanks for watching.